Lauren, good to see you in person. I know. We've met on Zoom, but never in real life. So, so this is a treat. Well, it's a treat, too, because we're able to catch the new single. You're actually going to be giving us an acoustic version here after we make a quick chat. But, Lauren, I mean, exciting times. Congratulations on the new song. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really pumped about it. Um, you know, it was an awesome uh, experience being able to create the song because I did it in the middle of the pandemic, writing it in uh, my New York apartment where I was living. And so just to be able to have a creative outlet was phenomenal. And got to team up with James Matt. Maslow and Eugene Ugorski, whom I love, and they did such a phenomenal job with the track. So I'm really excited to release it. And of course, you were talking about the single now, but then talk about what? The NFT to follow the single as well, yes. which is going to be coming out? Yes. Yeah, so it'll be a VIP edit of the single. It'll just be a, kind of a remix, I guess, if you will, uh, okay. that will be available as an NFT that UFO Records will also be releasing. You know, NFTs are such a big thing these days. Yeah. We kind of wanted to jump on the bandwagon and offer something special to fans that would be exclusive. So. I love this. <laughs> well, Lauren, we got to know you, of course, you know, before the single came out, because we've been talking about your voice work, your DJ in yeah. the Bay Area. Congrats. She just bought a house. And I did. Throw you're yeah, officially a resident it's now. True. It's true. It's true. Again. You know, I love it. I was born and raised here, so I am a huge uh, Tampa fan, and I'm so like proud of our city and how much it's grown. Yeah. It's unrecognizable from when I was a kid, but I obviously lived in New York and LA a lot for work, and now being back here full circle, it's really great. You know, getting to know you two, again, we were talking about your voice work, and I think it's fabulous because I feel like you're doing so much, but yet do they help each other out? Like your voice work, for instance, mm-hmm. when you're putting music together, when you're doing these different versions of the song that we're going to hear, of course, yeah. the acoustic version, does it help that you're able to understand elements of audio because of like your voice acting and things? Yeah, I think it all kind of goes hand in hand, and I think yeah. that, you know, just being able to, you know, um, be in, in the studio in all these different ways is helpful in terms of like recording and writing and comping my own vocals and engineering my own sessions yeah. because in the middle of quarantine when I was uh, recording with DreamWorks, I actually recorded all of my own vocals, uh, which was pretty crazy, um, which I think is not a normal thing to do. But in during that time, um, since I had a home studio, we did it. And of course, DreamWorks, you're referring to your work on the Trolls, yes. right? You are a troll, I yes. must say. Uh, Val Thundershock on Trollstopia. <laughs> Season 7 is going to be coming out this fall, so nice. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I think everyone's going to like it. It's It's such a cute show. It's been such a dream being able to work on it. And of course, too, you know, that's not all. You're also a DJ. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, how does like being a DJ and working with other people's music influence you and perhaps this song even? You know what? It influences a lot because as I'm playing around the country or even around the world and all these different places from nightclubs to festivals to rooftops to yacht parties or whatever, I really get to see firsthand how people react to music and how the musical trends are kind of growing and changing and evolving. So it definitely affects me as a songwriter because I take that feedback and it helps me with creating new music and inspires me, if you will. So, Well, I want to bring up two big things that are happening. Uh, First off, looking uh, way ahead, you're actually going to be playing a festival here in Tampa soon. I am. So there's a festival called Blended Festival that's a food and wine festival. It's been in Nashville, Austin, and San Diego, but this year they're bringing it to Tampa, which is really, really exciting, so I'll be performing at that. 